action. Little Red, Grandma, and Mr. Wolf. Deep in the woods was a tiny cottage. In that cottage lived a pretty little girl and her mother. Because the little girl was so sweet, everyone loved her. Because she had such long red hair, everyone called her Little Red. Little Red's grandma loved her best of all. She made her a little red velvet cape with a hood. Little Red wore it every day. Soon people called her Little Red Riding Hood, even her mother. Good morning, my Little Red Riding Hood. Get up and get dressed. Grandma's ill and she needs our help. What? Grandma is ill? What can I do to help her? Go to her cottage on the other side of the woods. Take this basket of fresh muffins, butter, and juice to her. Oh, and Little Red, wear your Red Riding Hood. It is still cool outside. Of course, Mother. I always wear it. I love it. And, Little Red, do not stop to talk to strangers. And do not get off the main path. Yes, Mother. Little Red Riding Hood started down the path. It was a beautiful day, but someone else had started down the same path as Little Red Riding Hood. Mr. Wolf! Big, bad Mr. Wolf. Good morning, little girl. What a pretty Red Riding Hood and what pretty red hair. How are you today? Little Red forgot what her mother had said. She stopped and spoke to the stranger. And good morning to you, Mr. Uh... Wolf. You can call me Wolf. Where are you going on this cool morning? I'm going to Grandma's house. She lives on the other side of the woods. She is ill. What a shame. Yes, I know. So I am bringing her this basket of fresh muffins, butter, and juice. How nice of you. But wouldn't you love some fresh flowers? I see lots of pretty flowers over there on the other path. Why, yes, she would love flowers. I'll go pick some. Little Red Riding Hood forgot something else. She forgot that her mother said to stay on the main path, and that means trouble. While Little Red picked flowers, Mr. Wolf ran to Grandma's cottage. He knocked on her door. Who is there? Mr. Wolf answered in a high, squeaky voice.
Mr. Hunter broke down the door and went in with Brutus. Get him, Brutus! Get that robber! Then I'll take him to jail! Brutus jumped on Mr. Wolf. Mr. Hunter caught him. So we have you now, Mr. Wolf. Grandma, Little Red, this is a very, very bad big, big, big wolf. He's robbed through the other cottages this week. Now we have you, you big, bad wolf. So Grandma and Little Red were safe. And ever since then, Little Red always listens to her mother.